Hello everyone. So today I have a viewer requested build for you. I have completed the recording studio. I've mentioned this in a few builds and I was really excited to do this. And okay, overly excited to do this. So I created really, it could be its own separate building if you would like it to, but this is a recording studio with apartment on top. It does use multiple packs and I'm not sorry about it. So the main reason I decided to do this type of build is because I realized that my next throwback video is a house I built when Growing Together came out for a family I played with. And I also put a recording studio in the basement in that house. So that is going to be uh, up on Tuesday. And that one does have a very small kind of recording studio setup. Okay, so for this build, I went a little, yeah, a little large. The recording area is areas themselves are in the basement. The main floor is kind of like a lobby lounge area. And then the owner apartment is up top. Oh. All right. So I play around quite a bit with the outside of this. If you don't like the stone on the bottom, it doesn't stay at the end. I wasn't sure I wanted to keep it to begin with. So yeah i eventually change everything and it all has to do with windows you'll find out more about that later so here i'm trying to figure out how big i want this to be um i still don't quite figure it out i end up changing it a little more later on i believe but not too much but in general, just figuring out the layout, where I want certain things to be. I created this back area to kind of just have a more private uh, outdoor space for the recording artist. And this room that's next to that is the office. And I do put in a couple other things. I do struggle to figure out where exactly I wanted these stairs to go to go up to the apartment above. I also wanted there to be a door into the studio so you didn't have to walk all the way around every time and really thought through how that was going to be laid out. You can see I went ahead and put a garbage can there because I would forget if I didn't do it right that moment. But in general, here we're looking at most of the layout for this floor. The bathroom changes a little bit here and there. I might even change it later on. I can't remember for sure. I did just finish this build, but I actually took a side trip. Once I got the first two levels done and a little bit of the apartment done, I grabbed this lot, threw it into a new game, and proceeded to try out a mod that would allow this to actually work as a recording studio. So at this point, I've only played with it probably for about an hour and a half or so, and most of that time was spent getting everything set up for the mod to work, and er, not the mod, but the, you know, the game to work with the mod. Um, but so far it's working really well and I'm pretty happy with it. Now there's also, I believe some CC out there or other maybe mods that would allow you to have other instruments. 
I only put instruments in here that are in the game. And that for this mod, I can't remember who it is. I do have it written down, so I'm going to have it in the description below for you. At least their name and the name of the mod. And you can check that out. So far, I really like it. And I might actually go ahead and add this into a legacy game I'm playing, possibly. Either that or I'll start a new one because the sim I'm using is just one I grabbed off the gallery and decided to have fun with. So, yeah. So, in general, I, I like how this turned out. I will say... We need more instruments in The Sims. I really want a drum set. And I debated about making this a CC build as well, but I did not. I am looking at maybe doing one of those a month just for something different. I don't think we have a lot of build, um, build like kits or anything coming out. So... Unless we get a expansion pack or, you know, like another game pack or something that has some cool build items in it. I'm going to be looking for some inspiration soon, I think. So I might start doing like once a month a build that has CC in it. And that's just because, you know, for my PC players like myself, we have that option. But what I may do is do those builds as a shell. So you'll have a shell and then I'll do the CC and have both available on the gallery. Okay, so one thing I want to point out here is this kitchen. I don't know what happened. I thought I was recording that kitchen. I was all excited so you guys could see everything I did in there and... I went to add all the videos into my editor and that was not there. So I don't know if I accidentally deleted it. You guys know me by now. It happens. I seem to do weird things. Either I forget to unpause or something, but something always seems to happen. All right, so anyway, back to this build. I'm playing with some, you know, decorative options. Uh, I do all this work here, and I'm going to let you know right now, it changes. Um, not a whole lot, a little bit, but that, that fountain area changes. The other thing is just kind of playing around with something to put in this open area. So I finally decided that, you know what, this is a recording studio. I'm going to put awards up. And yes, I know, these are technically not music awards because we don't have those in The Sims 4. But they work, okay? Just wait until I get to the office. It gets worse. Because, <laughs> yeah, there, there's a, a wall of awards, kind of. Okay. You'll see later. All right, so... Anyway, over here is kind of that lounge area, and I wanted to really create a whole bunch of spaces, uh, mostly because, like, I knew I was going to look for a mod to recommend for this. I wasn't sure how that was going to work. The one I found really only requires you to have three sims available to perform or record. So... I don't know if you can do multiples. I haven't tried that out yet. I mostly just went through and attempted to do one recording session and I just kept running into, hey, you didn't sign somebody. <laughs> Even though I had, but yeah. So I think it was, they just weren't available at that time to come out and, you know, do something. So keep that in mind if you download that mod. So here is, as I said, this outdoor area, and I play around with this quite a bit. However, I had a lot of fun creating this fountain. It's something I've been wanting to do in one of my builds for you guys. I've done it in a build before, but it's something that I built and I didn't record it, it was before I was doing 
I guess, YouTube builds or, you know, I wasn't focusing on that. So I didn't record it. And I actually ended up deleting the world that was in or, you know, the game, save file it was in. So I lost it. But, you know, cute little fountain area. I'll get some rocks and things in there. So it ends up really cute. So you can see here, I put a fish tank there instead. And I love how it looks. I just think it's really cool. And added something to that area. It is very, you know, open. And I wanted it to be that way. It's also, I wanted this to be a little more modern. So it's very, like, dark and you know not cold feeling i wanted to try to keep it a little bit warm and inviting but now that being said the apartment upstairs is also very minimalistic because in my mind the sim that's running this recording studio record label whatever you want to call it is busy they don't have time for a whole bunch of stuff in their apartment. So they don't have a lot out. That being said, it, I decorated it. You know, I didn't just leave it and leave it blank. It is decorated. Similar type vibe to this area. Where it's, you know, minimalistic. And yeah, I really like it. So I do want to, while I'm thinking about it, because I didn't talk about this earlier, because I was talking about the kitchen. I created a cute little coffee bar there over by the tables in the kitchen area. And one thing that I haven't done in builds again, but have done in the past, like I have done them in my video builds, is create these islands with this cool little wall thing. So that's what I did there. All I do is put the island pieces or counter pieces even around one of the room dividers so you can choose a room divider and that's how i kind of created that it just gives it a little more interest i think and it's a little more fun so here i play with all this stuff and the windows and i'm going to warn you now the windows change they they change and I blame the bedroom upstairs completely for that change. And you'll see what I mean later. So here is the office area. And as I said, this was fun to decorate. Again, I didn't want to put too much in here, but it also had to look like, you know, somebody, you know, is important. And really what my mindset was with this is I pictured if I had a client that said, I need an office that makes me look like I'm important, but isn't cluttery and very minimalist and is very minimalistic. And that's what I went with on that. So again, another build tip. I'm pretty sure I've given this one before. Might even have been in the last video, but create somebody to build for. So that is what I did. I created the owner of the studio really what my thought process was with this is maybe the building existed and they renovated it or maybe just kind of took it over and was able to do whatever with it so and turned it into a recording studio so you can see here where I added a few things and one of my favorite things to do lately is layer these plants up we don't have a lot of like grouped plants that really work together. I love the growing together plants. Unfortunately, they have a great modern look, but then there's this like gardening pail bucket, whatever you want to call it. That kind of throws off that modern vibe. Um, and it didn't fit well in here. I actually cut out. I tried to put that in it didn't fit well I, I was trying a whole bunch of things and for time I decided to cut me playing with plants out <laughs> but I think I'm going to try to use that somewhere else because I did figure out a cool way to kind of hide that with another plant so I might try that so here you can see where I used like the scouting trophy <laughs> okay 
and things like that just to make stuff look different and you know like they got different types of rewards and things like that so yeah the other thing and because I didn't do the you know have the kitchen on video I want to mention it here even though I didn't do it here what I am trying to do now is if I lift up objects on a wall unit and they so they won't disappear when the wall comes down I'm trying to put in half walls if it works because if I don't they tend to just float there as you're playing and I apologize for my builds that do have that in there because yes random floating objects have probably happened because I just didn't think about oh I should probably you know pay attention to when I have weird random floating objects but I've also been working more on playtesting my builds so I didn't always do that before mostly because I play so in general I have an idea of where you know things work so but I'm working on that okay so here one thing that you can see me doing is playing with all these plants because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put in here but one tip I have if you do flower beds like this is definitely lay out these ground cover first and then put in the bushes another tip I have is make sure your plants aren't sticking out of the wall you'll see that later okay and another fun thing is use debug for cool little planters I did not intend on finding that i was looking for a pot and i went i wonder if i shrunk this if this will work and it did and i like it so that's how i came up with that um, now doing lighting a little early on the lighting but i wanted to get this area done because i knew i would probably be most likely to forget to go back and add lighting to that so here you can see I shrunk down the plants because they stuck through the wall. In real life, they don't do that. They just hit the wall and bend. So, so I had to change that. All right, so here I am working on this upper apartment area. And this I struggled with. So even though I built this, this is where the idea of they had the building and they remodeled it comes into play so i'm gonna say the apartment existed up here however it wasn't how the owner wanted it so they wanted a bigger bathroom so they remodeled the bathroom and you'll understand why i'm saying this a little bit later when you see the bathroom windows okay <laughs> they look really funny from the front of the building but I went with it okay the home designer in me is cringing the interior designer in me is going I don't care and the sim designer is going it's the sims nobody cares <laughs> so. but yeah normally I try to make the outside look you know normal for my builds but I just didn't care this time and I'm going to say the owner of this building doesn't care either if you don't like it delete them and put something else in that looks better it's fine all right so here um, now that I have the floor plan figured out to an extent um I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the kitchen and finally decide to put it over here kind of in the entry area but not I personally am not a huge fan of walking right into a kitchen. I know that's kind of a, a newer thing that builders are doing. And I get why it seems like with these new apartments, especially you're, you're trying to maximize the view in the living area. So the kitchen kind of gets pushed back to where you walk in the door. That's usually opposite of the beautiful view you have um, so I get it I'm just not a huge fan and living in Nashville I'm looking at moving in a few months because my lease will be up and a lot of these apartments are 
that's how they're designed and I'll deal if that's what I end up with but we'll see I might not those are tend to be a little more expensive too and I just don't I don't think I want to spend a lot on an apartment right now I want to find something that's not too expensive and still is decent so all right so here with the living room again I wanted to keep that kind of modern vibe this is this is their their thing they like modern but I also wanted it comfortable so I threw in that industrial sofa and yeah I think I think it works you have the industrial sofa that kind of softens up the look a little bit but not too much and then these more modern looking pieces around it so I like it so I did want to put a bar in so you'll see I kind of rearranged things a little bit again so that I can put a bar here because what this person is going to be doing in this apartment is entertaining when they you know have time to do it or it's going to be parties of some sort now there's room you could throw a party downstairs too but I wanted to create this space so they could do that up here as well and again there's there's room it's not really cluttered I struggled to kind of fill the space a little bit just because I do kind of like to clutter things up a little bit but you know keep them functional and I finally decided I I needed some light over here so you can see something that popped into my head when I put that up was let's put a light behind that and I love how that looks I may be doing that more in the future because that's just really cool to me and I'm sure other people have done it so props to you for coming up with it first but it just hit me when I was building this so here I put in the I believe it's one of the luxury kits shelf and as I said this does use multiple packs and I'd already used the light from the same kit so I'm like well why not we'll just put that in as I said the game should replace anything that you don't own with other things they may just not match as well so yeah uh, sorry not sorry okay so the other thing is this space does have some room so if you wanted to add you know anything to it you can I as I'm watching this I struggled so much with how to decorate this kitchen area because I wanted it to stand out a little bit and I absolutely love the accent wall by the fireplace and TV so I figured I'm like let's break this up all this white up a little bit and I like it I liked using the same tile wood from downstairs I think that worked well though I did struggle a little bit with figuring out what artwork to put in that space between the window and the door and as you can see I gave up I go back to it I'll get there eventually <laughs> and now just adding a few things to the kitchen again I didn't put a whole lot in here just because it's supposed to be minimalistic it's you know this person's too busy they don't have time for anything and they probably eat out all the time they just have stuff for when they have parties okay that's how that works so here adding just a couple little things into the living room again more artwork and I don't know why every time I pull out this type of artwork from city living I always grab the big one and try to resize it and then I remember wait there's smaller ones available every time never fails so if you do the same thing don't feel bad so do I all right so now moving on to the outside area and again I don't put a whole lot out here play around with it a little bit because originally I was like well they're gonna have lots of people out here so I want to put a big table and then I decided no no I, I don't want to put a big table out there so 
change table size, move things around a little bit. And really all that ends up out here is this seating area, this table and the grill. I do add some lighting, that type of thing and change the uh, floor tile up. But again, minimalistic, it's really only used for entertaining, you know, and this again is a person they're going to be going out to eat. They're going to be whining and dining their, you know, their clients or people they're trying to impress. They're, they're not having people come over too often. All right. So moving into the bedroom and eventually I do decide this bedroom is huge and I have no idea what to do with it. So you're going to see me decorate it. And then eventually I just go ahead and add a closet because I'm like, I don't even know what to do with this space. But I do manage to, you know, fill it pretty well, I think. And here again, trying to keep it kind of minimal. These plants are either fake or he has somebody that comes in and waters them i say he all of a sudden it's a he but that is i was playing with a he when i was play testing this so what's funny is i think if i play in it it's gonna be a woman so yeah but yeah that's if i say he that's why so i right here decided i didn't like the windows anymore so i put in these more industrial looking ones and again, they should be replaced with something <laughs> if you don't have these. But I like the look of them. And then that also led to me completely and totally changing the outside of this building. <laughs> and I like it so much better. I really do. I think it fits a little bit better. It looks a little bit better. And yeah, I, I just... I like it. I like it so much better. I was struggling the whole time when I was building, like, what am I going to do with this outside? I'm not happy with it, but I finally figured it out. So by the way, I do want to apologize if you're hearing my kind of throat clearing. I don't know what's going on. I was fine all day today. I recorded on my lunch hour. Everything was good there for another video. And now all of a sudden my voice is like, okay, we're done. <laughs> So, apologies if I don't get all that edited out. All right, so here in the bathroom, again, I wanted to create kind of a more modernish look. And then you could see me trying to add the windows in here. I end up doing these kind of longer ones because I want the light. But as you could see, I tried to make them kind of look like you know, they're supposed to be, you know, there and look good from the outside. I finally gave up. Um, but I wanted both of them there. So, um, I also do design the, both bathrooms kind of at the same time because it's just easier. Uh, but I really love this walk-in shower tub combo thing I did. I've been doing a little more of things like that. I really wish they would give us just a handheld shower in the base game without the you know surround and all that just because it's just nice to be able to create your own we have so many like windows we can use and just different things we can use to create that that i really wish they would do that so the other thing is again we're, we're talking about a, a person that doesn't have a whole lot of time so they have a tv when they shower or you know take a bath it, it's fine i don't see a problem with it i love that idea how many people have tvs in their bathroom i actually do know a couple that aren't wealthy or busy they just have one in their bathroom so i want to know let me know in the comments if you have a tv in your bathroom okay so anyway <laughs> I'm just now just trying to kind of add in all the, you know, bathroom clutter and extra stuff. Um, finally decided in the master bathroom that this mirror is what's going there. And it makes sense to me. This is somebody who is constantly going to be dealing with celebrities and 
important type people and they have to look their best okay the other thing here is just kind of going around and figuring out some lighting uh, artwork that type of thing the finishing touches to this apartment is really what's going on here and why i did that before jumping over to this room i don't know but i decided instead of making this a second bedroom that it was going to be a gym now if you don't want a gym add in another bedroom add in an, another office if you want to you notice i believe i put a desk in the bedroom but it doesn't have anything on it but i didn't put an office up here because there is one downstairs and i just figured that was kind of overkill now again say you have the owner is a married sim and maybe the spouse sports from home or needs an office themselves that's a great room for it or turn it into a kid's room whatever but i put a gym in just because for my build the person is a single sim all right, so here now, just kind of trying to fill in all of this extra land that I have. I didn't want to make this build really big, mostly because I didn't have a lot to fill it. I know that sounds weird because I, I use so many different packs, but I didn't want to go too crazy with it. I figured the three rooms for recording, um, worked well because you, know, you probably can't even use all three of them at the same time um but i did kind of try to theme them i guess technically i have four in there i did forget i put in i kind of themed those so one is your more classical so i think it's got a piano some violins in it i might have put a guitar in there and then I did do a small room that's just like for vocal. And then I have what I consider more of my maybe like pop one that's got a keyboard in it and uh, my microphone, maybe two, you know, guitars, that type of thing. And then the other one was kind of more my country theme. So I used the piano from Growing Together. Put in a couple of mics, you know, guitars, that type of thing. As I said, we really need more instruments in The Sims 4 because I could only do so much. All right, so with the landscaping, I added in the palm trees and decided I didn't want to just put four palm trees on this lot. So this area, I decided to kind of make a cute little like garden space. And then I decided to put a tree in and it just worked. It looked really good added in these rocks thought about adding more of those but i didn't so we're just gonna say the landscaper said no from this view this is gonna look good and that's the only place they recommended those rocks so i'm gonna go with that okay this person hired interior designer an architect and a landscape designer okay <laughs> So, yeah, so here I come back now because I I knew I was going to come back to this. I think I needed a break from the studio area to decide exactly how I wanted to do these rooms with platforms. And so that being said, I added this platform, took down that wall, and I think this room has decided it's now outside. I don't know why. I really don't. I tried building a ceiling, everything else, but I haven't play tested it since I made those changes, but it should work. I mean, there's, there's a building up above it. It shouldn't be a problem. So I don't know what's going on there, but as you can see, I also went through kind of changed each room into its own color, created a little bit more interest in the basement. So here again, just kind of finishing things up, adding in, uh, some interest with plants and we are at the end i am so happy that this was recommended to do i had so much fun doing it i said my only complaint is that we need more instruments in the game so hopefully that's something they will consider doing in the future give us an instruments kit at least okay 
make it a stuff pack. I, I don't care. Just we need it. All right. So I'm going to let you guys check out the interior views, the exterior views, and I will be back when they're done. So I decided to end this video with the fountain that I built because in the build part of the video, you don't get to see what that looks like. All right. So I do hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe so you get informed when I post the next one. I normally post on Tuesdays and Fridays. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a great day. Bye now.